Hello everyone, it's Kay. How's it going today? So this is the 22nd of December 2020 on Tuesday. So this is a recorded video. This is not the live stream because every Tuesdays and Wednesdays and also Saturdays are actually recorded video session. So today is on Tuesday. So every Tuesdays I talk about the Ichimoku basic strategies. And today I would like to talk about the Chikou Span, the essence of Chikou Span. So let's get started here. So before starting, oh, the live schedule actually changed. Live and video schedule changed. So this video, and from now on, it's going to be uploaded at uh, 11 p.m. Japan time, which is the 2 p.m. in UTC time zone. So that's why this video is actually uploaded at uh, 2 p.m. in UTC time zone. So before I used to do the lives and videos at uh, 6 p.m. Japan time, but now I shift it to 2 p.m. so that um, I expect more and more traders uh, watch my videos and learn how to take trades. So just a quick disclaimer before studying anything here. Um, this information is basically based on my experience knowledge. So when you take trades, please do with your own risk. So let's talk about the Chikou Span. Chikou Span is very interesting. Um, Chikou Span is this yellow line on my chart color setting. It's the yellow line here. And Chikou Span is just shifted 26 candles backwards. If you're new to Ichimoku, Chikou Span is one of the Ichimoku five lines and it's shifted 26 candles backwards. You see the 26 bars in between the current forming candlestick to the Chikou Span. So, and Chikou Span takes the close price, candle close price of each candle in the past and this is the line chart. This is exactly the same as the line chart and it shifted 26 bars before, including the current forming candlestick. So let me show the Chikou Span only. Let me take out all these other lines and just get the Chikou Span here. So, and we'll check some charts today, real time and see what's happening in the market based on the Chikou Span only. So Chikou Span shows the momentum of the market. Simply when the Chikou Span above the candles, this shows this is a bullish momentum. And when Chikou Span is below the candles, it shows bearish momentum. It's bearish momentum. And Chikou Span above the, above the candles, it's bullish momentum. And when the Chikou Span is exactly overlapping the candles like this, this is when the market is in equilibrium and there is no direction in the market. So simply, just by looking at the Chikou Span location in relation to the candle 6, you know whether the market is bullish, bearish, or no trend. So in that sense, this one, Euro CAD, you see the Chikou Span above the candles, so this is up and bullish momentum right now, so that we can expect the market continuously go up this way in the long term. So very simple, right? So let's check other pairs. Um, I was watching the Euro pairs today. So Euro USD. You see Chikou Span is above the candles. And this is not only above the candles right now, but it has been above the candles for the long time. So in this case, this is a stable bullish momentum so that we can expect the continuous uptrend on this bullish new wave. So last Friday was bearish and we got the wick downwards and but it, we can expect the market continue to go up on this bullish new wave because simply because that Chikou Span is above the candles here. So that's Euro USD daily chart. And let's check the Euro JPY also. We see Euro JPY daily chart has been ranging for the last couple weeks but now we see that Chikou Span is still above the candles. So that means we can, ex we can expect the market continuously go up on this bullish end wave like this way. But when, once the market, once the Chikou Span gets closer closer to the candles, as the market consolidates for a while in the future, then um, the Chikou Span will get closer to the candles. And when it really touches the candles, then we don't know which way the market is going to go. 
if that happens. It might go up and go down, and we don't know which way it's going when the Chikospan touches the candles. So that's when we should stop looking for buy chance anymore. But at this moment, we see that Chikospan is above the candle still, so we can still look for the buy chance. I expect the market go up continuously still. So that's Euro, U, uh, Euro JPY daily chart with the Chikospan. So let's check some other pairs that are not trending. So one of the good example of today is the CADJPY. We see CADJPY pair is now retracing backwards. It's retracing and the Chikol span is getting very close to the candles. And the Chikol span is actually going down along with this candlestick and this is where we don't want to look for buy or sell chances because the Chikol span is too close to the candles and if it touches the candles like sometime in the future maybe um, for five days, six days later, when the Chikol Span touches the candles, that means the market is losing its trend. So we don't know which way it's going if it happens. And it's about to be happening right now. So in this case, I would stay away from the market in terms of the Chikol Span viewpoint. So remember a uh, Euro USD or Euro JPY was a beautiful uptrend. Like this is what we're looking for. We see the distance in between the Chikospan and candle, and this is the uh, stable bull bullish momentum. But right now, if you see the CADJPY, the Chikospan is too close to the candles, so this is not ideal to look for buy chance. So let me show you other pair that are that the Chikospan is too close. So for example, GPPJPY. This pair of daily chart now it's ranging. And also Chikospan is overlapping with the candles now. It's not really above the candles like here, but Chikospan is overlapping with the candles. So this is a market that is ranging, no trend, so better to stay away. I think the Kumo flat and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen flat too in this case. It's in Y wave structure, so better to avoid looking for taking trades. So let me show you another example for uh, no trend. So that will be Euro AUD. You see Euro AUD chart, Chikol span is technically below the candles, but this is too close. So when you see Chikol span too close to the candles, you don't want to take trades either because it might touch, it might go into the candles and the market might lose its um, trend direction. So yeah, in this case, you better stay away from taking trace. And let me show you other trending pair from Chikospan viewpoint. So that will be AUDJPY. Yeah, AUDJPY daily chart shows this is uptrending. And Chikospan is away from the candles and this is all the way above the candles. So in this case, we can expect the market go up on this bullish new wave continuously. On this bullish new wave continuously like this way so although we see a retracement last friday i expect the market continue to go up this way because of this chikol span location to the candles so once again chikol span is just shifted 26 candles backwards and it takes a close price of the current candles so you might think this is too simple it just shifted 26 candles, so what? But actually, if you understand it correctly, then you can make a decision as to uh, whether you want you want to take trades or not, simply by looking at that Chikol Span location to the candles. So I hope you enjoyed today's Ichimoku lecture. If you liked it, please press a good button and make sure to subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these lives and videos every day. So tomorrow, Wednesday, I will talk about my own trade strategy. It's going to be more towards the strategy side tomorrow. And tomorrow's topic is about, um, is about uh, essence of break-even strategy. So I will talk about how I set the break-even, what timing uh, I take to set the break-even. I will talk about it tomorrow video. So I hope you enjoy tomorrow's video and I will see you on the, this Thursday's live stream. So once again, thank you for watching until the end and I hope to see you again sometime soon. So have a great weekend.
Bye for now. またね。Thank you.